Chaos. 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 Capital Chaos. Capital Chaos TV. Motherfucker. This is Empire with Capital Chaos TV. I am at Rockstar Mayhem Festival with this guy. You might know him from a band by the name of Mushroom Head. His name is Skinny. Day number two, how are you feeling so far? I feel like it's the second day, and thank you so much for having me. Fucking A, and that's that. So, let's talk about the righteous and the butterfly. I know that you hit number 20 on Billboard out of 200. I know that the name has some special meaning and that you brought J-Man back. So first, let's talk about the name of the album. I realize that it's for two individuals. So can you just share with us a little bit, what, it, what how did you get to it? All right, um, you know, just putting this new album together, um, you know, bringing J-Man back, brought a lot of, you know, feelings back over the, he'd been gone for 10 years. Mm -hmm. We lost John John about four years ago, and you know, he and I, J-Man and I, were the only ones that speak at, at the funeral and that type, at the memorial, that type of thing. I gotta back up a little bit. Jay and I have always been close. Even after he left Mushroom Head, we, uh, we, it, it wasn't like we weren't talking. We, we were always friends, you know what I mean? It wasn't like this weird animosity and, so it's just because he wasn't in the band, it wasn't like we weren't working together. Yeah. We have a side project called 10,000 Cadillacs that we were working on about two years ago. And that's when I got the call to do the new Mushroom Head. Okay. And so we put the side project on hold and he came by to get some mixes of the side project and that's how the new Mushroom Head was going. I said, oh man, you gotta hear this. Five hours, six hours later, he's on three songs. What? Yeah, and it wasn't, I wasn't like, hey, come back, it's 20 years, let's celebrate, I want to do this dedication. Because my ex-wife Vanessa, who's the butterfly in this situation, she, you know, she passed away last August, so it's not even a year now. We, half of the album was written before that happened. Mm -hmm. So a lot of it was just J-Man and myself and the new members, Dr. F on bass, Church on guitar, and the core members being Schmatz, myself, and Jeffrey Nothing. Mm -hmm. We just all kind of bonded together very much and said, let's do something for ourselves and be respectful to the ones that we love. And we, I think we made an honest piece of art and it's something that I think it's something that it it, it, it shows. Yeah, I think the fans know when it's when it's bullshit. <laughs> yes, yes, they do. Yes. Well, it is an amazing album, and thank you for explaining the, what happened behind the title. Um, let's talk a little bit about the masks. Do you do you always have to wear them when you're performing, when you're interviewing? So when you're doing that, do you feel like it kind of helps keep you a little bit out of the public eye, so that you can have some privacy when you're not playing music? You know, I've been very fortunate to be one of the guys, you know, behind the scenes, pay no attention to the man behind them, you know, mm -hmm. that, that, that's kind of, I don't want to go into, a, I, put it this way, I can't go into cash a check looking like this, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not going to, it's not going to work. So when I'm grocery shopping and when I'm taking my kids up from school, I don't really have to look this way. They're going to freak out if I do. They won't let me into school, you know? So I've, I've, uh. In many ways, I've been very blessed with the an anonymity to it all. You know, I just, mm -hmm. you know, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. That's it. That's awesome. <laughs> you can't see what he looks like. It's a total secret. <laughs> all right. So, in regard to self-expression and censorship, um, back in 2010, when Come On was barred from being viewed, do you feel now, a few years later, that there are still limitations on the expression of music, or do you think that it's changed at all as far as to what content can be played and what can't? You know, I think musically it's more wide open than it's ever been, mm -hmm. and that's a good thing. Um, like things of like, you know, say Spotify, Pandora, those things. I think that stuff is awesome because you get to pick a genre or a category and get turned on to stuff that you wouldn't necessarily like listen to. Mm -hmm. But as far as like censorship, we were just in Russia, Moscow, the first time I've ever played there, and, and there is not a whole lot going. There is no metal. There is really, they did not want a saying, fuck, you know, they didn't, they, they, wow. yeah, do not, you know, swear words on stage, even just speaking, like saying goddamn or motherfucker, like yeah. in general terms, it's how we say that. Yeah. Oh, when we're standing there talking and these people are listening to us in an airport or in a restaurant, like they're ready to call the cops on us. Like oh it's, God. so, 
everyone who's in America and who loves metal, <laughs> yes, <laughs> love America and love metal. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's talk a little about one song that really it sparked me. You covered an Adele song. Have you met Adele? No, I would love to though. I think she's a genius in everything she does. She can do no wrong. I, I truly believe, I think it's amazing, uh, all of her songs. The reason that came up, Dr. F, our bass player, mm -hmm. uh, he and I were working on some masks one day. We were uh, pouring molds, basically is what it is. You pour a latex into the mold and wait for it to dry. But we have like 20 molds, so it takes yeah. a while. We had, where we were doing it at the time, because our studio was filled, we were at someone else's house. We had limited electricity. We had zero tunes. So I had my phone. So I just put it on shuffle. And that song came up. I'm being real honest. That song came up and we're like, man, it's a great song. If you made that real heavy, put some heavy guitar to it, man, it would sound like Metallica or something. And we kept like laughing about it as the song goes because we knew it and we were singing along. We were like, you know, doing it all heavy. The more drunk we got, the better it sounded. And then we actually went and recorded the idea. And then, sure enough, everyone came in a couple days later and was like, that's pretty cool. So we just went with it. We did five or six different covers, but that one ended up on the album. And we just wanted to do something fun. It was really for ourselves. And, you know, ultimately, when you're recording an album and working on sounds, having cover material and stuff that's fun to do yeah. matters. You know, you know, the last thing you want to do is some deep, depressing, dark album and start with a drum sound on, yeah, right, doom, doom, no. You know, I do, you know, cut the long way, I guess, kids. Not this way. Do it. Just get it over with. No, I, I don't mean. We're just kidding. We're just kidding. <laughs> no, it's all positive. Everything's great. And I love Adele. Awesome. Awesome. So, Skinny, I'm not going to take too much more of your time. I know you guys got a lot of people to talk to. Is there anything that you want to say to your fans, to anyone that's been stuck with you and following you since day one, and to the people that are going to watch this and say, who's Mushroom Head? Anything you'd like to say to the world? Well, I'll tell you what, man, for all of you who've been along for the ride, thank you so much. For everyone that's just starting to, you know, get an idea of what it's about, man, dig deeper, man. I, it's seven years, it's, or seven albums, 21 years. I see, I can't even get it straight. It's been so long. Numbers don't matter. You know, age doesn't matter. It's all about what you feel. We are not rock stars. We're artists. And if you can appreciate what we do, then we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Hey, this is Chuck Billy from Testament. I'm blowing it up. I'm blowing it up. I'm blowing up. On Capital Chaos. Capital Chaos. In Capital Chaos. Capital Chaos. In Capital Chaos. Capital Chaos. On Capital Chaos. Capital Chaos. Capital Chaos TV. Motherfucker. Go fuck your mother.